issue with cops. I have an issue with nobody. I have an issue with people who are not doing whatever they're supposed to be doing on a, on business, on point, on with righteousness. Do it as it's supposed to be. Be a family. Be in a gang and make sure that gang is taking care of each other. Be in a family. And being a family involves not having people do heinous things that's risking their life and jeopardizing their lives. That's not being a good family member. Being a good family member is not making sure I right, I'm gonna haze this person because he just he's a he's a young lord he's a rookie in this in this in our set in our organization. So I'm gonna make him be be a doji. You're gonna do everything for us. We're gonna um, make you do all the risks. I don't think that's a good thing to do to family members. I think you need to toughen people up. But you're not supposed to be using and manipulating people that way. But shout out to you know like I said content Cardi TV. Um, have a blessed day, Mary Lovely. Much respect. I appreciate you. Um, always sending love to love. We appreciate that love here. I lost twins. Who? Oh. Who? Prayers to Content Cardi. Prayers to Content Cardi TV. Praise crows in the chat, please. Crows in the chat. Crows in the chat. Whenever y'all can. I'm gonna keep repeating that. Crows in the chat. Live four days. Yeah, they, that this was five years ago. Oh, brother. You are powerful. That's strong for you to... Ooh, I have to take a deep breath for that. That's strong that you're strong enough to be this way and 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 be the type of man you are on this... What I can see from my perspective on a righteous path. Where, wherever you are, we all have room for improvement. So anybody can look at themselves and say, I need to improve A, B, and C. But from the outside looking in, the steps you're taking, the way that you're pushing yourself, the, the experiences you can tell, you already can tell that you have some... Realness and real recognizes real, and we can spot fake too. So when fakeness is 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 out, we can easily spot that out. But we can recognize realness. It's Lord Cardi always will be. Oh, I love that Lord Cardi forever. I love that. All right, exactly, exactly, exactly. We definitely need to go loud. Yeah, yeah. I right, say say less. So all right, we could talk. I'm a, I'm gonna be on here for a while, and then um, matter of fact, whatever, and you could you know how it is. I'm gonna go right to Instagram and um check my messages. So we set set. Let me know how you feeling and where your vibe, your energy is. We gonna um your, your um time it is. I know how it is. Um, salute all day, all day. What's proud out to you? Salute, keep cooking. I right, uh, much respect. Video power, video power in the house, video power with that energy. Must respect. Like I said, the mods they 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 got them wrenches and they signed up like that for a reason. They got good energy, good um um experiences to bring to the table good questions social assassin in the house big homie in the house shout out to social shout out to social oh respect that's <laughs> i take that with high praise and high power that's like that's like pop gates telling me yo you got a good jump shot now pop gates is the hall of famer i told y'all y'all can look him up y'all can start i'm a definitely I'm doing a big documentary for him, but that was like that when he first told me that. Like I shout out to Social Assassin. A lot of this live is in this energy with me live streaming, coming from Social Assassin saying, "Yo, you should go live." And I don't even think I was. I just was talking about battle rap. I think at the time I just was probably still because I am me. Whatever I talk about, I'm gonna add my my whatever my mind comes to. So I don't know what I was specifically saying for him to say that, but that's powerful for him to say that. I take that with high praise. Is that you have a method acting down pat? Yeah, yo, fat content Cardi. You, you. That's when you when it comes down to acting. And please, y'all. Well, I say please because I want y'all to make sure y'all really mean tell y'all the trick. Is I'm not I'm not somebody who I have power, and my coercive power is not to convince you behind scenes. If my coercive power, I'm letting it be known now. My, if, if you want to say I'm having any type of manipulation to want you to watch these interviews, it's mainly because we I'm going to be doing, shout out to Unscripted Logic. I'm doing what Unscripted Logic do. We're going to be giving away tickets to Unscripted to um the Never Forget Five event. And this is good for virtual battle rap. So some people who are not in, in who don't know about virtual battle rap, I would love for you guys. Part of this is I would love for a bunch of new audience, new audience pe members, people who never really was into battle rap, even if you never even cared about hip hop. I would love for you to be someone to see what I mean about seeing there's some type of movement going on. This is something that 
is going somewhere. You don't necessarily even have to be an investor. Somebody who just is willing to invest their energy. Somebody who's willing to just give it a look and give it an honest feedback. If you say, yo, this is, I ain't, this ain't what I thought it was. I don't like this because of this. Let us know why. Let every, every MC know what you really think about it. That's what I do too. I think we need honest feedback. But people who, I, I want more people there. So if you feel like there's any of that type of energy there, that's what it's going to be about. Yo, come check this out and see what this is about. But nevertheless, I'm giving out the ticket. So it's not like you, even if you um you want to just be somebody who win a ticket, you don't feel like you want to invest your money, come earn a ticket, win a ticket. Um, You have, sound like Willy Wonka, right? Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, win it, earn a ticket. <laughs> Peace to all, Allah and Justice uh, of New York. Mecca, yeah, Mecca, shout outs. Oh yeah, oh man, shout outs to, shout outs to Content Cardi. Content Cardi TV. <laughs> You are you you on point. Zaza land in the house. Good morning, Zaza land. Yo, I try to use one of the pictures that you gave me for the thumbnail. Zaza land in the house, so I have to still still going hard. Yes, so uh, um, you already know why not? Why not? Right? Let me shout out Zaza land. Zaza land. I literally today is the day where I'm gonna start making my thumbnails are gonna have something to do with Zaza land. Got I got so much content. So for phenomenal stuff to talk about that Zaza Land sent me. Shout out to you. So I got to say this first one. When people call us monkeys, let's get down to this. If y'all seen U2 University right now, we got U2 University on right now. We are literally officially in the second or third day of the second episode. So the first full episode, shout out to Lord Cardi. Um, make sure y'all follow him on Content Cardi TV, but that's it's always going to be Lord Cardi. Crows in the, in the um, chat. Um, when you look at those, like I said, that impactful message that was in there, in between every episode, in between every, I would say, um, um, lesson. So we start off with um, mental health. We're getting into yoga and the concepts of um, a print vis a print rich environment, the concept of the energy around the things that you see around you. When we get into the concepts of um, Spanish, you learn the Spanish alphabet. You learn how to say basic Spanish vocabulary within that alphabet. Um, then we get into math. We get into al algebra, geometry. We get into history. This is what I want to get into right now. I mean, economics too. If you want to learn about economics, all of this is in the first episode. That's already out. Y'all can go check that out. One of the main things on that for the history, we talk about World War One, and I'm talking about, I'm showing y'all real propaganda images. Y'all see the image of the big ape? It was like, like a King Kong type of person, and they had the not the German um hat on his, the German um helmet on. That's an actual image, and they used that image of the monkey, which was mainly used because of Obenga. Well, it was before Obenga. They was calling um dark skinned dark brown people monkeys. For a very long time, but it really got into its height of the concept with King Kong because the first or the most famous person, follow me, y'all. If y'all don't know this history, this is potent history. And shout out to Zaza Land. Like I said, Zaza Land is the reason why I'm saying this. I wasn't able to make it the thumbnail because of whatever, but Zaza Land sent me an image of a monkey. That a box. I'm gonna talk about this monkey is doing martial arts. This monkey is doing a flying double um roundhouse in the air. This monkey, there's a monkey that got trained to box. Monkey that knows martial arts. The concept of a monkey and the interesting storylines behind monkeys goes so far. And because it's it's like a dark cloud over. Just like the word nigga for educational purposes, we don't research nagas or niggas. We don't research the origin of these words. We just view it as what people tell us in the modern age and we run with it. We view, oh, you a monkey, you a ape. We run with it and view it with all negative connotations because people wanted to change and they did a great job with the media changing everything. If y'all don't know, everything, 1940 is where everything changed. Our media officially changed. If you go to anything before World War II officially got went popped off before America joined World War II, everything has a different information system. Our newspapers are reporting things differently than it did after. Here's my point. The famous celebrity, the first celebrity that was called a monkey, Jack Johnson, the boxer. They were mad at him. He had a lot of people losing a lot of money. The concepts of great white hopes and people being able to take Jack Johnson out was major. So one of the things was when this concept of the media started to rise in Hollywood, 
we create this concept of a big ape who's going around like Jack Johnson, who violated the first ever person who got accused of the man act was Jack Johnson, the famous celebrity boxer. Jack Johnson pissed people off so much that they got the government and law enforcement on him. And as we're talking about Chris Dorner and what's going on with the LAPD, we didn't even get to the hot sauce yet. Like I said, we cooking today. This is a day we 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 still marinating right now. We didn't even get to the polls. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to the mods too, not just me. Go, I'm telling y'all, the mods, you're going to be mind blown. Every time somebody comes back and they tell me, yo, I subscribed to such and such page. Yo, I didn't know they had this content. Because y'all, and, and like I said, I'm versatile. If you think that I only listen to content that sounds like me or looks like me, I, I don't even know what that would mean because I I feel like I represent all all types of content. I talk about all type of things, and I'm interested in all type of things. Y'all see how deep I can get with the straight edge movement. That alternative rock, if you into gangster rap, you need to, when, I, when we start getting down and dirty with the straight edge movement or alternative rock, you need to tune in because this is going to be a bridge. I don't like to just talk. I'm a real, I'm an educator who has, I am, I don't like to just say, I'm a, I don't like the, I don't like the claims of being an activist as a, because of how activists are normally charlatans. So that's the only reason why, but I don't have a problem with words. When somebody says you're an activist, you're a, I, I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. I hear that I'm all these things. I hear you're a folklorist, you're a this and that. I When I hear it, that's when I say, okay, I'll call myself that because that's what I acknowledge being, but I really just be honestly just speaking and talking. My point that I'm really getting to is Jack Johnson was just living his life. Jack Johnson was just trying to bridge the gap. Jack Johnson wanted to be a professional boxer. He was good at it. He had everything, all the abilities and attributes. He did it professionally. Even though he lost people out of money, he had all type of people who didn't like him. He still kept moving forward. Even though racism, people was real racist towards him. Clearly open racism. That was real racism that Jack Johnson dealt with. He still said, I don't, I don't hate all white people or so-called white people. I'm going to go date white woman. And he had him somebody who was dating and he was with. So he's dating this white woman, so-called white woman, for educational purposes. For this story, we have to say that actually because that's in the storyline. They said that Jack Johnson went from New York City to New Jersey with a prostitute. So because he's traveling with a prostitute, he's making all his money from illegal prostitution. So we need to create a law to get him arrested. But guess what? The Man Act, we have the Man Act created by Mr. Man, who was M-A-N-N, -N, that's an actual person, who actually had issues with Jack Johnson. This law created, and then they say, okay, we're going to use this. Let's charge Jack Johnson for the Man Act. We're going to put him in jail, take him away from his um white or his white girlfriend or wife, um, fiance, I think it was. We're going to take him away from him, charge him with prostitution. He's not going to be able to um fight anymore. And this was the whole plan to get Jack Johnson out. The Man Act is still in effect today. If you transport uh, somebody who's known as a prostitute across any state lines, this ain't got nothing to do with New York. This is a federal crime. If you transport somebody across fed, fed, federal freight lines who's a prostitute or known as a prostitute, you can be charged. Check out the pimps. If y'all know about the pimps, a lot of pimps had to deal with that. The Man Act. They have state, if some pimps didn't have to face this demand act because they had so much state trafficking um, issues. But if you know any pimps, if, if you from the 80s and you still have pimps or you know of, of any pimps, I'm talking about real pimps who, you, you don't have to have a charge to be a pimp, I'm not saying that, but pimps who had people who had charges around them at least, ask about the man act and what they know about that because the state had their own regulations for that man act. They try to do the same thing to Floyd. Whoa, I didn't know that content. Yo, you, you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about by the mods? Break it. He breaking that down. I didn't know they do. They did that to Floyd? How I, I missed, yo, I would have, that would have been the perfect time to speak about this to my students. I would I didn't know that. My students love Floyd too. Shout out, I rock with Floyd too. Um, Listen, the man act is the devil of you. <laughs> He knows. Some people know. Yo, 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 Lord Cardi. 
I, I got bad. Like I got, we got a, a surrounded of, of, of the peas around here too. Not no more, but I who grew up with. Those are the only ones who be who know. Every time I bring this up, there's nobody else who really be understanding the man act like that. That's hilarious. That just gave me like a quick. <laughs> it is though. It's like the devil to a pea. Like what? I, I gotta stay local with it. That's hilarious. Yeah, we we could talk that talk too. I'm not like that. I came up under the um, I came up under the sixteen. 